Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another new week, another new video. Doing a little bit of cleaning up today in the, in the shed. Lots of messing around, rejigging, trying to reorganise, went through the samples. I keep threatening to do a sample Saturday, sample Sunday as a regular basis, and then I, I can't keep up with it. Look through the samples today, I've got that many folks, I thought I need to get into these in a big way. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack in with one of these today. If you're a patron, you may get this a little bit earlier, but it's probably going to go out on Saturday. Probably watching me now on Saturday. But yeah, it's a sample. It's a wee bit of a mystery with this sample. Because I don't know who sent it. It's a Deanston 21. It's an Apollo Cotado. 51.8% ABV. I have had it covered up by Whiskey Friend Coin Batch 2, Whiskey Battles and Dunda Hatch Coin. I've had it covered up for the last hour or so, but I've been sitting nosing away at it for a while. I've held myself back from tasting it, so I'm pretty pretty good up on the nose. I've just not had a sip of it yet because I wanted to save it for this review and share it with you guys. So, wonderful, wonderful colour on this one. Don't know if you can pick that out, but it's a real nice, rich, beautiful, dark colour going on there. Uh, real, real nice. Smells wonderful. I'm pretty sure it's ex-bourbon cask. And I'm almost positive it's finished. I don't think it's fully matured in Palo Cotado. I think it's a finished in Palo Cotado. Looks like it's non-chill filtered and I think it's natural colour. Looking at it, I think it looks pretty cool colour-wise. 21 years. But on that nose, folks, that first initial nose of it, it's, it's, it's a lot going on up front because it's like... There's, there's a really, really beautiful spicy element going on. There's a woody spice, lots of wood spice. But at the same time, there's a, 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 I don't know if you've got a, a sweet shop nearby and you've walked into that sweet shop and you've got that beautiful candy confectionery smell in the sweet shop. You don't know whether to run for the cola cubes or you don't know whether to run for the bonbons or you don't know whether to run for the worthers. There's just so much going on in here, this glass. It's that sweet shop candy toffee so much it's a beautiful burst of sherry up front as well that palo cotado is wonderful i have done a couple of palo cotados towards the back end of last year the one that, that jumped out to me i think i've done a i think i've done another deanston i don't think it was quite as old as this one but i'm pretty i'm positive i've done the aaron master of distilling too and i'm pretty sure that was finished in palo cotado i actually think that was my favorite 12 year old of last year so I'm really, really getting into the Palo Cotado. Anybody that knows anything that's floating around at the minute that I may be interested in, I'm, I'm wanting to chase down a couple of Palo Cotado bottles, whether it's fully matured in Palo Cotado, whether it's even finished in Palo Cotado. Dive into the comments, guys, and let me know what's going on out there. But nose-wise this, it's that beautiful spicy wood, spicy oak, sherry, confectionery, sweet shop. But the, the dark fruits there, the raisins... But they're not just typical raisins, they're more like a, it's a booze soaked raisin. So it's it's just dripping with booze. Really, really nice. Some black grape. A little bit of juicy plum going on in there as well. But then there's this lovely, I think, the reason why I'm thinking it's ex-bourbon, there's lots of toffee, lots of vanilla and sticky toffee, sweet toffee, beautiful sticky honey. Real, real nice, and there's lots and lots of soft spices. Thinking the things that are coming to mind me is a little bit of maybe white pepper and definitely maybe some ginger. But there's just so much wonderful, wonderful noise. That lovely sherry sweetness is it's so fruity, it's so sweet, it's so sherry sweetness. But at the same time, you've got that there's those vanilla sweets. The it's just it's a wonderful, wonderful noise. And real, real. If you've got a sweet tooth, then you'll love this. So. Without any further ado, folks, I'm just going to, you know where it's going to go now, I'm going to just send this straight down the hatch. I'm going to love this, looking forward to it, so wish me a bit of luck, guys, so here we go, down the hatch. Cheers. Oh, it's been a while. Oh my, it's been a while. Sherry, big burst of sherry up front. Not just the sherry, 
The mouthfeel is, is creamy and velvety and silky. Real, real nice mouthfeel going on. Coats the palate beautifully. But on the arrival, there's a really initial hit of spice. Ginger, pepper, a little bit of hot. The 51.8% is a fantastic, great ABV going on there. Just I think it's just right on that. Gives you a wee punchy arrival. As it develops, there's a lovely hit of those sherry notes. Some orchard fruit, pears, apricots, apples. Very, very fruity. The spices there from the initial sip. Already, and it seems to be going all the way through towards the finish. If this was a smoky dram, then you'd imagine the smoky blanket would just be there all the way through, and then the other things were going on. This is exactly what it is with the spice. I think the spice is sitting in there, kind of holding it all together. That kind of wood spice, kind of oak. There's a beautiful oakiness. It's definitely it's got its 21 years going on there. Lovely, lovely wood. It's not overly woody, but there's definitely a spicy, spiced wood, oak spice going on but those pears apricots all those fruits the orchard fruit beautifully integrated with the toffee a little bit of Werther's original going on here and then it's becoming a little bit nutty let me just take a little bit of that nut just came from nowhere there let's let's find out what's going on let's take a second sip Oh, it's so nice. Lovely. It's been a while since I've done a Deanston. Well, that second sip, it's still creamy, it's still velvety. The nuttiness, it's a bit of roasted hazelnut, maybe a bit of roasted, maybe some walnut. It's definitely gone nutty. All that woodiness is there all the way through, the spicy wood. It's heading right through towards the finish. And going into the finish, the fruits there, the toffee, the caramel, the honey, sticky honey, sweet toffee, beautiful sherry notes, wonderfully balanced. I think it's a great balance for a 21 year old. Sometimes you can get it a wee bit too oaky, maybe too much sherry going on. This has got a beautiful balance between that, those ex bourbon casks and the sherry palo cotado casks. Excuse me. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's do a little bit for the finish, guys, and I'll get myself gone. Don't want to make these too long. Wish me luck. Just a bit of research, folks. Okay. That finish. Spicy. It's long. Yes, it's a really long finish. Hangs around beautifully. The spicy wood. The oak. Wonderful oakiness. Maybe a little bit of kind of old leather get in there. Maybe a little touch of tobacco on the end. But the vanilla, the honey, the toffees all over the finish. That Palo Cotado casks or whatever they've done. The beautiful Palo Cotado. The big, big head sherry hit all the way through to the end. Those, those sherry notes, those fruity notes. Wonderful. Spice is still there. So it's beautifully, beautifully... Wonderfully balanced whiskey, this folks. I'm not going to score this because it's purely a, a sample, guys. If you're watching and you sent me this Palo Cotado sample, dive into the comments, drop me an email, drop me something, let me know. I've got so many there, guys, with no names on, so it's it's just a wee bit. I'd love to give the credit to the guys who sent me them, but I'm just don't know. They've got that many just now. I don't know who sent it. So other than that, guys, I'm going to try and keep this nice and sweet. I'm not going to score it. Just it's only on a sample, so beautiful, beautiful Deanston, beautiful twenty-one year old Palo Cotado. I'm loving the Palo Cotado at the minute. So that's pretty much for this one, guys. I want to keep these little sample reviews quite short, just a quick hit of videos. So until the next one, guys. I'm Alan. If you've not hit, if you've not hit the, um, you know, guys, the subscribe button down below. She's down there. Just a friendly reminder from me to me. It doesn't cost you anything. It's still completely free. Still not costing you a penny. And you're still helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 6k. If you want to pick up some coins and some glasses, all the links will be in the description. Dive in there, folks. Without any further ado, that's it. The pleasure is the sharing. I'm Alan. Until the next one. Doing the hatch, folks. See you all soon. Bye -bye.